you know, recently, um, other media outlets I, I, I saw published stories that were like breaking uh, Trump's new border wall can be sawed through or, you know, some of these kind of stories, right? Or someone can climb the wall or, you know, or there's a tunnel, people can tunnel under the wall, you know, these kind of stories. Um, why is the wall or whatever you want to call it, the wall, the, the wall segments, the barrier, the whatever you want to call it, why does it matter so much and do those criticisms that it's not impenetrable, so we shouldn't do it, do they matter? Are they legitimate criticisms in your opinion? Well, 33 years, so, so this is uh, definitely not the first administration I have worked uh, under, right? Uh, I can tell you the border issue transcends administrations, uh, and, and I can tell you that, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, 600 or <clears throat> the 654 miles of border that we have in place uh, have been built to some extent or another under previous administrations. Um, I think this, uh, this administration is very focused not only on, on uh, border security but, uh, but uh, law and order in general. Uh, so every administration um, has done some things uh, with the border and I think, uh, I think it's good to be looking outward and, and looking at uh, where we're going to face the next couple of years uh, as well. Do you think that the, the, the physical barriers really do matter when oh, it comes absolutely. to... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, um, I, I actually started uh, uh, talking about those things that uh, when we were very busy in South Texas, um, and if you look at uh, proportionately the, uh, the tactical infrastructure that we have to include the walls is, uh, is a lot less in South Texas than other parts of the, of the country. That's nobody's fault. It's, it's that uh, uh, we were very busy in El Paso, we were very busy in San Diego in years past, and it's kind of shifted traffic to, uh, to different areas. Um, so I was very, very, uh, very hopeful or, or very happy when I saw that, uh, that this administration was very focused on establishing that personnel technology infrastructure uh, to the levels that, uh, you know, that we're working on and also that engagement with Mexico and Central America.